people are really enjoying themselves, learning these new things. Uh, the first thing they learned was paper making. So I made a batch of 100% cotton uh, pulp. It feels exactly how it sounds like cotton in water. Put it like this into the pulp and the water mixed together. Push all the water out. Hopefully by morning. It should be dry enough to handle and take home. Like, I really like doing this part because you get to see what it looks like afterwards. And you're making paper, which is cool. Um, the, the second thing we learned was uh, how to make paste papers, which is something that all book artists need to learn at some point. You can add stamp patterns or patterns of paint. I'm just trying to make it swirly. And you can let these dry, then afterwards paint over them, and then use the um, comb right there and make a design. Uh, the third thing that, uh, that they're learning is marbling, which has an instant wow factor. Do a little bit brighter one. Okay, then I'll use some blue. When you use this to stir it a little bit, they yeah. spread through. Oh, that's really pretty. You know, some of them are muted colors. And now that one my granddaughter did, and that's vibrant. It's phenomenal to see people using all of their creative energies and just having a really great time. My favorite part's probably just spending time with my grandma. She wants to be an author and an illustrator. She has since she was a little girl. It's all really fun, but mostly just meeting new people, 